On the eve of Super Bowl 54, the NFL salutes the best of the best at the NFL Honors, hosted by Steve Harvey. The star-studded award ceremony celebrates the most eye-popping plays, crowns the season's most valuable player, and will unveil the Pro Football Hall of Fame class of 2020. Mm. But before the envelopes are opened, NFL Network rolls out the red carpet with Super Bowl Saturday night. See your favorite players like you've never seen them before. Glitz and glamour collide with football on the red carpet. Saturday, 7 p.m. Eastern NFL Network, followed by the NFL Honors Award Ceremony at 8 p.m. on Fox. You might see this guy take home an award on Saturday night. Everybody's on their feet in Panther Stadium right now. Oh my goodness, McCaffrey makes the catch and he leaps in Summerside. This dude right here is the best running back that we've seen in a while. Mm. You see him looking up at the monitor when he's scoring a touchdown. Yep, yep. All right, we are joined by one of the brightest superstars in the league. Listen, this dude was named first team all pro after leading the NFL with just under 2,400 yards from Woo. scrimmage, 19 total touchdowns, and becoming just a third player in NFL history, third player in NFL history to rack up over 1,000 yards rushing and 1,000 yards receiving. Ow, ow. You are welcome. <laughs> absolute <laughs> beast. Yeah. 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 What's up, Christian? Thank What's you. up, baby? How you doing? I'm great. Happy to be on the show. Good weather in Miami. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Plain. I appreciate you joining us, man. Listen, so um, we had David Johnson on the show a yeah. couple of seasons back, and we got super excited when he told us, you know what? My goals are 1,000-yard rushing, 1,000-yard receiving season, and you did that this year. Did you go into the season with that in mind? Or did it just happen? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's always been a goal of mine. Um, you know, I think when you look at guys like Marshall Falk and Roger Craig, you know, the other two that, that have done it, you know, two of the best to ever do it, um, they set pretty high standard. And, and, you know, I take pride in being a complete back, being a back who can catch the ball out of the backfield, run routes, and um, stay on the field and, and be a three-down back. So uh, it meant a lot, you know, when I got it. It's definitely something that I wrote down. Obviously, at the end of the day, the most important thing is winning. And, uh, unfortunately, this year was a little tough. With you wrote it down before that. the season that you wanted to do it? Or yeah, for a cu couple seasons ago I did, yeah. Really? Um, but, uh, you know, I always set individual goals and team goals. And, of course. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, goals sometimes aren't as controllable in football. It's such a team game. But, uh, uh, you know, I have fun with it, and, you know, it gives you something to work towards. Now we have the NFL honors coming up. Uh, what if you did get that honor of yeah. Offensive Player of the Year? Like, I, I know you said it's the individual awards don't matter but I mean still though to to be like crowned that amongst your peers it's a big deal yeah you know it'd be a huge honor anytime you win an award it's an honor just to be uh just to be up for it you know it definitely means a lot I've lost enough awards though in my <laughs> in my sure. career that uh yeah. you know I realize that at the end of the day you know it's about playing football going out there and winning games so yeah uh, I used to tell myself when I would lose, you know, when I lost a few awards, I, you know, I, oh, this stuff doesn't even matter. So if I said that then when I win, I got to, you know, stay and hold true to that. Yeah. You know, we keep hearing about how it's a passing league and it's all about the quarterbacks. And yet postseason rolls around and it's Derrick Henry running over teams. It's the Niners running over everyone. And in the regular season, it was you doing the job you did. What do you say when you hear the running back role has been diminished in uh. 2020? Uh, I would highly disagree. I, th I mean, I, th I think that's pretty an absurd statement just due to the fact that, you know, you look around the league and you see uh, what some of these teams' main weapons are and how they're using guys, and it's at the running back position. You talk about guys like, like Kamara, like Saquon, like Zeke, like Todd Gurley, and, um, you know, these different backs around the league uh, who are doing special things week in and week out. And uh, to me, I think it's a crucial position, just like the O-line. You know, O-line never gets talked about. You know, and you talk about Derrick Henry and the run he had. Um, you know, the, the, the Titans O-line was fun to watch. You know, when I was rolling, and I wasn't, it wasn't all me. You know, it was, you know, our, our O-line has to do the job up front. And, uh, it allows guys like Derrick Henry, who are already special, special beasts and phenoms, to go out there and, and, and make plays the way they do. Christian, there's very few things that could get me more excited than this situation right here. We're in Miami. The sun's coming up. There's palm trees, guys rollerblading by. Right. We're in Miami. But we all got so hyped hearing that rule. 
at the podium in his introductory speech. We were so here for it, and it's a really exciting time for Charlotte. What stood out to you about your new head coach so far? I think when you when you look at his his press conference, I think that spoke for itself. Uh, and you look at his his resume, and, and you know, being a guy who's had a history of turning teams around who were struggling, and um, as a player, it's it's fun. You know, we have such a we have such a good team. We have a lot of good guys, a lot of good leaders. We got good veterans. We got good young guys. So it's an exciting team to uh, to come into. It's a pretty cool guy. Yeah. Intense. Yeah, cool. Yeah. He's intense. You know, he's it's a hell of a set. We have the beauty of the beast, the majesty of the leaf blower. This is South Beast. It's absolutely. <laughs> Fantastic, Christian. Um, you are, in a sense, my friend, like Jon Snow. You can do it huh. both south and north of the wall. You can Sweet catch and run it. Said to me. Thank you. And I know that's wheelhouse for you. But Jon Snow had Tormund. He had, he had Tormund Giants man, his guy. You've had Cam for much of your career in Carolina. This is a crazy offseason for Cam, and there's a lot of people speculating. He's gone. He's back. He's this. He's that. In your gut, when you look forward to next season, do you picture yourself catching the ball from Cam Newton or somebody else? Absolutely. Um, you know, Cam. Cam, Cam's a guy for me who, when I came into the league, you know, he was the quarterback. And uh, obviously, an injury. He's he's unfortunately had to had to miss some games and hadn't been playing 100. percent But uh, when Cam's at 100, percent he's one of the most fun guys in the league to, to play with and to watch on the field. So for me, uh, that's my guy. You know, I love him, and um, I'm really hoping that, you know, he gets back healthy so that we can go out there and do what we know we can do. We were creeping on your socials earlier, and yep. you gave Super Bowl tickets to a Marine. What do you have going on with USAA? Yeah, it's really exciting. Uh, partnered with USA and gave Sergeant Major Leva um, two Super Bowl tickets. He's actually the the only active duty military member that w that we gave tickets to. Um, but it's a cool event, you know. We have so much appreciation for the military, and it's something that anytime I have an opportunity to give back to the military in any way, I do it. So this was a fun thing, um, you know, because he, he, it's like I said, it's the first time it's an active duty. Uh, Marine, and um, it's just a cool event, you know. I mean, they, they do so much for us and, and are very underappreciated, I feel like. So anytime I'm able to give back, I, I enjoy it. Love it. You're not only one of the most well-rounded players, Christian, you're one of the most well-rounded people in the entire league. We love talking to you. We also love testing you. Versatility <laughs> is your game. We have some physical challenges for you, like Double Dare back in the day. Are you up for a few challenges right yes, now, Christian? Yes, absolutely. All right, so the first we're going to do, guys, maybe you can help me. We're going to do yeah. some stuck, uh, a cup stack in here. <laughs> okay. We can oh, move no. all of our, okay, our I notes got you, and I everything. Got you. All right, we got you know, company. Christian, you've seen this we'll before. The These are the red cups. You're going to have 15 Dang, seconds to stack them. I didn't bring my stacking them. cups. I would have brought my stacking cups. <laughs> oh, you have your own set. That's like bringing your own cue to the bar. Um, Years. Four, you're going to go four, three, two, one, and we have 15 seconds for the most versatile man in the NFL. Do we have the clock, ladies and gentlemen? Oops. And Christian, go. Look at okay. the hands on All this right. man. All right, not bad, not That's bad. That's the O-line. A, a little slower than I expected. No, <laughs> Bates calling you deceptively uh, fast. Nate, how dare you? <laughs> you have so much time. Come Chris, on, it's over. It's high, it's motor, high motor performance. Efficient. Whoa. Listen, slow and steady sometimes when the race. I okay. did that in seven. All right, so we know the physical gifts. Oh. Now, I see you, the Stanford background. You're an intellectual. You're on our show talking to Kyle about Tolkien or whatever the heck you guys are talking about. <laughs> Game of Thrones. Lord of the Rings. Game of Peter, the take a laugh. Yeah. You're like done. an arcade? Yeah, Tokens? no. <laughs> Google. Um, <laughs> your owner, David Tepper, famous Wall Street <laughs> businessman. All right, famous. But in 15 seconds, name as many successful businessmen in this country as you can, or women. Go. Steve Jobs, Warren <laughs> Buffett, David Tepper. <laughs> Um, oh my God, Man, that's harder on Think the spot than I thought. Uh, yeah. Let's see. He owns the Mavericks. Thing. Yeah, yeah, okay. Mark, Mark Cuban. Cuban. <laughs> um, oh, the Amazon guy. Diddy. Yeah, Diddy, Diddy Jay-Z. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Okay. That was hard. That was a really hard one. I wanted Rockefeller and Carnegie. It's just way harder. I'll give you something. That we, it's we, early in the morning. Yeah. I dropped out of college. You guys are killing it's it. It's a New York college dropout. Christian, Someday you got to get a job. You did not Burn. drop out of middle school, fifth grade. Yeah, you're so right. here is right. a hula hoop. Can you come over here? See, this is more And can you keep this okay, going? Right. <laughs> I'll get for 15 seconds. Okay. Go I got a mic. I got a hey, mic okay. on the back, though. Is that going to mess the... Uh, sure. I'm sure it will. Hey, don't bust them pants, man. Those are tight. Seriously. Got it. See, you don't skip leg day. Yeah. Golly. Christian, too thick. Ready, <laughs> set. God, I got, I got. Yo, we're looking like Thanos. Here, Ready, right. set, go. <laughs> go, go. Oh, hey, ain't nothing hey, Christian hey. about that. I got. 
I'm out. Please show me how it's done. Can you show me how it's done? Go, 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 go. I'm leaving. Go, go, go. With the mics in the ass. I got the mics in the back. Man. Not as easy. Come on. Oh, go for yeah. it. Oh, all right, go right down. That's all I got. The hoop's rigged. McCaffrey is rigged. incredible. All right. That cup uh, thing is amazing. All right. Last one. Yeah. Last one. Um, name your favorite right. five running backs. Ooh. Favorite in the game or history? Uh, in history. That's, that's, that's a good question. Um. Well, Marshall Falk, mm. uh, Ladanian Tomlinson. Ooh. Um, Strong. Loved watching uh, Barry Sanders, Walter Payton, and uh, man, that's a tough question. I'm going to have to go with uh, Jim Brown. Man, Jim Brown! Brown. Jim Brown with the buzzer. And listen, and this is no exaggeration. Buzzer. I see elements of their game in yours, man. You're one hell of a player, bro. We're big Thank fans. You. Thanks for having fun no, with us. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I appreciate it. Great Thank job, you. Man. Yeah. Bend the knee to Christian in your McCaffrey. Hulu performance. You said I, you weren't afraid of a Hulu. Well, after, after you, we'll edit it in post. But I swear, these <laughs> we'll things are in the way. On live post. television, <laughs> he could, anybody can make it happen. He's Christian the man. McCaffrey. He's we'll a magical back. person. We have another spectacular guest on the show, Von Miller, joining us a little bit later. Derek Henry, who might be magical.